Hello everybody, this is Dr. Aparna. As children, you must have all played cricket or football. But then India is a cricket crazy country, is it not? So I am sure you must have all played cricket at some point or the other. In the streets, in the parks, in the gardens, at home. And I am sure you must have broken a lot of window panes. Yes? Now, when those window panes were broken by you people, what was the reaction of the people whose windows were broken? Were they very happy that you broke their windows? Or did they get very angry with you that you broke the window? And did those people come running to your father and mother and say, your son or your daughter has broken our window while they were playing cricket? And did they fight with your parents? Did your parents fight back with them? Now, do you think that fighting on such petty things will really make people come close to each other? No. Children play a lot of games. They keep breaking a lot of things. They don't do that intentionally. But then, if elders start fighting and taking that seriously, they start building their animosity and their hatred, then will that lead to any goodwill? I don't think so. As we grow up, we should learn to love others. We should learn to be more tolerant. We should understand that everybody has their own flaws and their goodness. This lesson, not just oranges, that we are going to study today is written by Isai Tobolsky. We are going to learn something about love, compassion, about tolerance, about humaneness. Always remember, we come into this world without anything and we leave this world without anything. What happens between these two points is very, very important. We should be remembered not for the wealth that we have accumulated. We should be remembered not for the fame that we have got. We should be remembered for the kind of character that we have built and the kind of personality that we have. We should be remembered because we were good human beings. We should be remembered because we loved everybody. This is the basic essence of human life and this is the basic essence of the story also. As I have been telling you on and off that stories that you have in your curriculum have morals to it. English is taught not just to improve your communication skills but also because you learn something from these stories. Every story has a small moral, has a small teaching. Now let us go ahead and learn more about the story, not just oranges, written by Isai Tobolsky. Unfortunately, nothing much is known about its author. So we will jump straight into the story and see what the story is all about. Isai Tobolsky is a Russian author who has written this beautiful story, not just oranges. This story is about a mother and a young daughter who is just five years old. They live in a city and the author says it doesn't matter which city they live in, but they live in a city and they are very poor. It's very difficult for them to make both ends meet. The mother works as a charwoman in a hospital. The patients Whenever they are satisfied with her services, they give her small gifts, they give her small treats, they give her biscuit packets, they give her apples, they give her whatever they have with them. When they leave the hospital, when they are discharged from the hospital, they are extremely happy because they have bounced back to health. So they don't carry the things back to their homes. They give away whatever they have to people in the hospital. And since the mother did a lot of service for those people, she would always give, be given some gift or the other. And there were times when they would also get oranges. Now oranges are very expensive fruits in that particular country. So unless you are very rich, you wouldn't possibly give away an orange to somebody. So this is the significance of the title of the lesson. It's not just oranges that you give to somebody. Along with the oranges, you give something else. So sometimes it also happens that people who get discharged from the hospital 
give luscious oranges to the charwoman. This girl loves a blue ball which is kept in a toy shop. Of course, they are not very rich to buy that blue ball as soon as she sees it. So after some time, the mother saves a bit of money and finally gives the blue ball to this little girl. Now, I'm sure you must remember how you would have felt when you were young, when your father or mother gave you something that you desperately needed. You would have been so happy, jumping with joy and happiness. The same thing happened when the ball was presented to the five-year-old girl. She started bouncing like the ball and the mother also did a little bounce because everybody feels bouncy when they are happy. As I was telling you, this little girl was so excited when she got this ball. She was bouncing with it. And obviously, she used to play with this ball very often, very, very often. But then, this happiness was very short-lived. One day, as she was playing, this ball bounced so high and so fast that it went into the windows of their neighbors. Their neighbors were the Malashovs. And on the sill of their window, they had a vase, a beautiful crystal vase. What is a vase? A flower vase, wherein you put water and you can keep flowers in it. So this ball bounced very high and very fast. It hit this vase. This vase fell down. It broke into pieces. And obviously, the Malashovs were very, very angry with what had happened. They were so upset that they had broken a crystal vase that was very, very expensive. And they loved that vase a lot. So Lady Malashova, who was an old woman, they were not a young couple, they were quite old. This lady, old Lady Malashova came out of the house and started shouting and she started screaming and loudly and she said that they had been robbed as if they were really been, you know, a burglary in their house. And she started complaining so loudly that all the neighbors started gathering around. The little girl got so scared when she saw this old lady shout and rave and rant that she went into, the, into a shed and she hid herself there and she was crying. She, the old lady Malashova was continuously talking and talking and shouting and complaining till her husband came out of that house and gave her a stern and angry look. Then the old lady kept quiet. She went back into the house. This little girl was there inside the shed, crying her heart out. After some time, her mother came. And when the mother came back from work, all the neighbors came and told her what had happened. They told her how the girl was playing with the ball and how the ball had knocked down the crystal vase and it was broken into pieces. The mother suddenly realized that the crystal vase must have been very, very expensive. She felt very bad. She started crying. Seeing her mother cry, the girl ran out of the shed and hugged her mother and she said she was so sorry for what she had done. The mother obviously knew that her daughter had not done this thing deliberately. She hugged the child, she pacified her and then both of them went to the Malashovs to ask for forgiveness. Let us see what happens ahead. When the mother and daughter reached the Malashov's house, the old woman opened the door and she gave such a nasty look at the daughter that the girl cringed with fright. The girl got so scared of the old woman. The old woman was about to pull her plate when the old man looked at her very sternly and she put her hand back. She really wanted to shake and, you know, shrug the girl off. But then somehow she contained her anger. And then they started complaining. They started telling how was it possible for them to repay this loan. The girl's mother asked them not to worry and she said that she would repay 
for the crystal vase. But the old man got very angry and he started shouting and he started taunting them saying that how could they ever repay so much money especially because the vase was made of crystal. The mother didn't know what to say. She just stood there. In the meantime, the little girl saw that on the floor, the vase was broken. There were splinters of broken glass everywhere. There was water all over the place and the flowers were strewn all over. Old lady Malashova had deliberately not cleaned the floor because she wanted to show the mother what had happened to her crystal vase. The little girl looked at the flowers and very sadly asked the old man if the flowers were dead. The moment the old man heard what the little girl had said, there was a bolt from the blue for him. He gave a start. He, something had hit him. Her words had touched a nerve. Her words had touched his heart. He suddenly realized that this little girl who was about just five years old was really worried about the flowers that were dying there on the floor. She was really worried about the flowers because those flowers were alive when there was water. And once the vase broke down and was, you know, broken into pieces and the flowers were strewn all over, she was really concerned about the flowers. And then he realized how much importance he had given to an inanimate object like a vase. And he suddenly realized that he never once thought of the little girl or her sentiments. He never once thought about what the little girl must have thought when she broke the vase unknowingly. He was only concerned about his feelings. He was only concerned about his money. He was only concerned about his crystal. But when the little girl says, are the flowers dead? He suddenly comes back as if to life and realizes that there is something much more important than a broken vase. Here he had broken the heart of a young girl. But then we human beings don't give in so easily, do we? He continued with his anger. He started shouting at them. He continued shouting at them. The mother wanted to apologize. The mother wanted to say, we will somehow repay the money. But then he cut her short and he asked both the mother and the daughter to leave the house immediately. Both the mother and the daughter came out of the house very sad. Nobody remembered the ball but for the little girl. Let us see what happens next. The little girl and her mother came back home. No one remembered about the ball but the little girl. She cried and cried and cried and cried and finally she lay down on the bed. After some time, after about half an hour, old lady Malashova came to their doorstep. They op the mother opened the door and there she held the blue ball to her stomach as if it were a watermelon. And she very angrily thrust that ball towards the mother and she asked if the girl had fallen asleep, looking at the girl. The mother looked at her child and she said that she did not know whether the girl was asleep or not. But then the girl had really cried a lot. The old lady Malashova asked her to stop because she did not want to hear the trauma that the little girl had undergone. She finally thrust the ball into the mother's hand. The mother was surprised that Malashova had given her back the blue ball. She wanted to repay her kindness. She wanted to tell her that she was very thankful that Malashova had given her the ball. So she went to her bag and took out two luscious oranges and thrust each orange into the hands of Malashova. Old Malashova, when she saw the oranges, she was shocked. She knew that the mother worked as a charwoman in the hospital. She knew that the mother did not really earn a lot of money. She knew that oranges were very expensive fruits. And she suddenly realized that the mother was trying to show her repentance. 
the mother was trying to ask for forgiveness the mother was trying to show her gratitude to her by giving her the oranges maloshova took the oranges in her hand and she started smelling them to believe whether they were really good oranges or not and suddenly she felt ashamed and she suddenly started feeling very guilty for the way she had behaved with the mother and the little girl she very silently took the oranges went to the girl and she quietly placed both the oranges next to the girl and left the house there was something on humanity that the maloshovs had of course they were very 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 unhappy that their crystal vase was broken they were also very angry but then they realized that what was more important in life was to love your neighbors they realized that the little girl had really not broken the vase deliberately it happened while she was playing and they forgave the little girl and in this way they earned the respect of the mother and also perhaps of the neighbors now let us try to analyze this lesson and finally bring it to a conclusion what does this lesson teach us what have you learned from this lesson what have i learned from this lesson this lesson is about human relationships human relationships are balanced on delicate threads we should be very careful any amount of ego and anger should not come in between human relationships because if that comes then this delicate thread breaks and then there is a knot even if you try to tie this thread and if you even if you try to mend this net always remember there will be a knot to the thread but then human relationships can also be repaired they can also be mended just as the maloshovs tried to mend their relationship with the mother and the girl how can a young girl who is 5 years old make an impression on the mind of the old man maloshov how innocently she questions the old man maloshov whether the flowers in the crystal vase were really dead when the moment she asks that question he gives a start it's as if somebody has shaken him it's as if somebody has made him to sit up and think about what kind of behavior he has had with the little girl he suddenly realizes that he and his wife were given giving undue importance to a crystal vase of course it was a very expensive one but then is it that expensive that they should break their relations with the mother and the young daughter did the daughter really do that things deliberately did she really break the vase deliberately her questions makes him think it makes him realize it makes him ponder on what he has done and then both the husband and wife perhaps sit back home and they talk to each other and then they decide that yes the blue ball should be given back to this little girl and that is the reason why old maloshova comes to return the ball because there is repentance because they want the human bond to grow they don't want to break ties with the mother and the daughter always remember there is one thing that ties us with the others and that is love no amount of money no amount of fame no amount of wealth no amount of ego can ever build relationships if there is anything that can build relationships it is tolerance it is love it is compassion and that is what both the husband and wife realize and that is why she comes back to give the blue ball to this little girl she feels so bad when she realizes that the girl had fallen asleep crying for her little ball and also feeling bad that she had broken the vase and she is unable to take in the fact that she had hurt the little girl and when the mother realizes that the ball is in her hands and old lady malashova had returned the ball she wants to make amends 
she wants to show her gratitude. So she takes out two oranges which are definitely very expensive and something which both the mother and the daughter can never afford. And she gives those two oranges to Malashova. The moment the old lady sees those oranges in her heart, her repentance grows even more. She starts feeling guilty. She starts feeling bad. She realizes that what good people the mother and the daughter were. She realizes that she too should be as good as them. She realizes that both the mother and the daughter were really feeling very bad that they had broken the crystal vase. So she goes back silently to the daughter's bed. She places the oranges there on her bed and then she leaves the house. Human relationships are very, very important in our lives. Our relationship with our parents, with our brothers and sisters, with our friends, with our relatives, with all the people around us makes a lot of impact. We must learn to maintain human relationships. We must learn to be tolerant. We must learn to love one another. Jawaharlal Nehru in his discovery of India has said that India is a land where people are very tolerant. We are an amalgamation of different cultures. We are an amalgamation of different religions. Yet we stand united because we have been tolerant. We are known for that. And Gandhiji has taught us that we can win battles. We can win anything only if we are non-violent and if we learn to love. Great leaders have taught us the importance and value of non-violence, ahimsa, love, tolerance, compassion. Let us learn something from this lesson. This lesson also teaches us the same values. Values don't change over the years. They are the same. Good continues to be good and bad continues to be bad. Let us look at good and bad as black and white or as white and black. Let us accept people into our lives as they are. Let us not be judgmental. Let us not be prejudiced. Let us love humanity so that this world grows to be a friendlier place, not just for you and me, but for everyone around us. This lesson perhaps teaches us that. This lesson makes us realize that it is only love that can bridge barriers. It is only love that makes us be more close to each other. And if there is a lot of love, understanding, tolerance and compassion, there would never be so much of conflict in this world. We must learn to mitigate this conflict. We must learn to mitigate violence. And that we can do only with love and tolerance. Please go through this lesson. This is a very small lesson. But then it has a very big message to it. Read through the modules. Try to understand the modules. Try to understand the question answers and the quiz that follows it. I have given you links that are based on love and compassion. Go through them also. Enjoy this lesson. Try to change as a human being. Try to be useful to the society. Try to be good to others. And if you are good to one person, it rubs off onto the next also. Just as evil spreads like wildfire, so does goodness. Let us be good and spread goodness and love amongst everyone. Thank you very much.